continue to do. And Mr. Mayor, Jerry, I don't want to get you in trouble out in Fresno, California, for letting you know I actually like your Republicans. But uh, um, you've done a hell of a job. I'm anxious to hear about your electric buses later. But anyway, the floor is yours, Jerry. Thank you, uh, Mr. President, uh, for your leadership. Um, on this critical infrastructure package. Um, you know, there, there are really many things to, to like about this infrastructure bill, uh, beginning with bipartisan support. That always makes it easier on us at the local level, as you mentioned. Um, and the last time I checked, both uh, Republican and Democrats alike travel on our roadways and cross our bridges, use mass transit, and uh, breathe the same air. So, um, Unfortunately, Fresno, uh, along with Los Angeles, our neighbors to the south, uh, have some of the worst air quality in the nation, yep. uh, which is why we're focused on transitioning to uh, clean air buses in Fresno, as you mentioned. Uh, in fact, we rolled out our first two electric buses last week, uh, thanks to a, a Federal Transportation uh, Administration grant. Thank you, Mr. President, to your administration. Um, and this, this bill, I believe, will, uh, will accelerate uh, those efforts here in Fresno. Uh, second, um, as you know, Fresno is ground zero to, uh, for California's high-speed rail efforts. Yep. And uh, I'm proud to say that Fresno will be a host to the, the nation's first high-speed rail station right here in downtown Fresno. And so uh, federal assistance uh, is vital in order to complete this project. And uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that this, uh, this infrastructure bill will, will provide that financial uh, support to us here in Fresno. Uh, and Fresno, like uh, many cities, is in the midst of airport expansion uh, with the addition of a new terminal uh, at our um, Fresno Yosemite International Airport this coming year. And uh, certainly this bill has the potential to expedite uh, our airport expansion as well. Um, and with the, uh, the changing climate and uh, drought conditions in California, uh, we, we are facing uh, on a weekly basis life-threatening wildfires uh, that not only put our, our power grid in danger uh, locally, but uh, our firefighters as well. Uh, and this bill will strengthen our power grid uh, by investing in it, which is vital in our region. Uh, and it's uh, very important that we do so in order to avoid some of the rolling blackouts that we experience here in Fresno um, as a matter of routine. And uh, lastly, um, unfortunately, and I'm not proud of this, but Fresno is, uh, is number two in poverty in the state of California. Uh, we have a, a very poor valley, very poor region. Um, most of our jobs historically have been uh, agricultural centric, although that is changing. And uh, this infrastructure bill will create good, paying, meaningful jobs, uh, which are desperately needed in, in Fresno and throughout our region, and allow us to build upon those uh, agricultural jobs that we've been relying upon. So uh, I just want to say, on, uh, as the mayor of Fresno and as a Republican, uh, I am uh, very grateful uh, for your leadership, uh, Mr. President, on this infrastructure package, uh, making it a priority with your administration, uh, considering or taking into consideration input from state and local jurisdictions, as well as uh, working diligently to pursue that bipartisan support. So thank you again. Uh, and uh, we, we are here to assist and take advantage of that funding. Jared, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Look, uh, I'm not being solicitous, but we kind of had Fresno in mind. I'm not joking, because the air quality, the where you sit, how tough it is for you there. And you know, uh, all the things you mentioned have an impact, are gonna allow you to have an impact on air quality. You know me because you're aware of it, I'm, I'm a big rail guy. We have more yes. money in this, in this area for high-speed rail than all the money we spent on set, setting up Amtrak. This is a gigantic investment. And you know as well as I do, when people can take a train from point A to point B, Conveniently and faster than you can drive your vehicle, they take the train. We're talking about electric. We're talking about electric. We're not talking about diesels. We're talking about electric. And we're talking about being able to transform and impact on the air quality in your area because of the geographic location and the spot you're in. Also, with regard to the power grid, you know, 
you have seen more than most people in California, you've seen the impact that weather has on not being able to sustain the security of the power grid, whether it's right. bad weather or fires or whatever it is. And there's a lot of money in here, a lot of money in here for making sure we can take care of the lines that carry the electricity, the lines that move it along. And one of the other pieces in here that I, I, I know you know about because you're already doing it is that, you know, your airport, your airport as well as the high-speed rail terminal, that also, there's money in here for airports. Republicans strongly supported it, as well as Democrats, because there's a lot that has to be done to modernize the airports, and that also has the impact of cutting down on air quality problems and the like. And so there's so much, and I understand you have uh, seven more electric buses on order, or you're thinking about getting another seven? We got some money yeah, we for have you. We got some money for you. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. We, we actually have uh, seven more that are going to be uh, coming online in, uh, in 2022. So, and if you want to send us more, we'll take them. Well, by the way, it is really a big, big deal. And one of the things we're doing is we have provisions that we're trying to encourage the American manufacturers to actually generate and build the platforms for these electric buses. I was in Carolina look, looking at a factory where they're making not only school buses, but also, uh, um, uh, you know, the regular transit systems that are electric based. It's, it's, it's phenomenal what's going on. But we have to make sure we have all the, you know, access to, uh, to the various pieces of uh, materials and minerals we need to produce them. But uh, it, it's a big deal. So I'm going to be coming back to you and all of you to get help on making sure we continue to make these investments because I view this as just starting, not the end. But this is gonna, this is gonna play out over the next eight years, these investments. It's a lot of money. It's over $500 million, billion new money over those eight years. And it's paid for, it's paid for. So thanks for what you're doing. And uh, you know, I always joke with my friends, uh, you know, being a mayor maybe is the toughest job in American politics. I know where you live. <laughs> And you affect their everyday lives more than anybody. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank um, you, Mr. President. Mayor Labumba uh, from uh, Jackson, Mississippi. How you doing, pal? Good to see you again. Thanks for being so nice to my wife. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. It's a pleasure to join you. It's a pleasure to join uh, all of the amazing 